would you like to make your Samsung Galaxy device look truly unique? It's time to break free from the default and unleash your device's true potential. With Goodlock's Theme Park, you're not just customizing a theme, you're crafting a vibe. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to remix your Galaxy's UI like a pro. Let's turn your phone into the ultimate cyber deck. So let's start by opening Samsung's Goodlock. Now, if you don't have the application on your phone, you'll have to download it from the Google Play Store. Once downloaded, Goodlock brings you to the home page. Now, Goodlock is an application that allows you to fully personalize your Samsung device using a variety of modules. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the module titled Theme Park. Now, any module used for the first time does require download, and that can be downloaded within the Goodlock application. Simply look for the module that you are using for the first time and look for the download icon to the far right of it. And then you can tap on it. Now, if you're done downloading the theme park module, we can tap on it. Now, once the theme park module is open, you'll see a list of your themes. Now, you can see that I only have one theme here and I'm going to tap on it just to show it off for a moment. Now, I spent quite a bit of time customizing this theme here and I gotta say, it looks pretty awesome. But let's craft something from scratch. So we're going to look for the option Create New. First, we're going to start by selecting a wallpaper. Now options include your current wallpaper, the gallery, or explore more wallpapers. Now I'm thinking for this theme, I wanna do something with the color purple because I think that would look really cool for the tutorial. So I'm going to go to my gallery. I'm going to look in my download folder and then I'm going to tap on this purple shard wallpaper. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we're going to frame the wallpaper. Now this is important so that the wallpaper will fit your device's display. Now once you have the frame and set up to your liking, we can tap on the check mark. And then we can tap next. Now as you might have noticed when we went to apply that wallpaper, it didn't ask if we would like to apply it to the lock screen. Now, if it didn't apply, we could tap on the lock screen and we can tap on the option to change it. We could then go to the gallery, again, look for the location of the wallpaper and then tap on the wallpaper. And then we would frame it here. And I only wanted to mention that because when I've tried this before, sometimes the wallpaper also doesn't set to the lock screen. And once you have the frame and appropriate for the lock screen as well, you can tap the check mark again. And then we could back out of that page. Also, I wanted to point out that you might have noticed something nice here. Now, again, we have that purple shard wallpaper with that cool geometric design. And Theme Park helped to coordinate everything here by providing a list of colors that vibe with that wallpaper. That being said, if you wanted to stop here, you could, but continue watching if you would like to see a deeper dive into customization. Next, we have what I think is the coolest function of Theme Park, and that's going to be the color and style. So first, we're going to select a main color. Now that's going to be this bottom row here. And you can see that I have this dark purple. Now this is an option that I created previously when doing some testing, but you can run through these other ones just to get a feel of how they will affect the colorway of the UI. Or you can go the route again that I did and create a custom color. That's going to be the last option here with the pencil icon. We could tap on that and then we can create something else here. So we can once again focus on the purple color and then we have a saturation slider where we can gray things out or we can make it a more vibrant color of that choice there. And then again, we have some color options at the bottom there, but I'm going to go with my custom here by tapping OK. Also, one thing I do want to point out, changing this main color doesn't change the wallpapers. If you want to change your wallpaper to match the main color, then you have to, of course, change your wallpaper. Now, main color and your wallpaper are going to be the basics here, but you can dive deeper by individually customizing some of the pages you see here, which represent different parts of the One UI interface design. 
interesting enough when you select one of the pages to be edited you don't have to back out to select another simply swipe left or swipe right now before we swipe right we want to review the options so again we have home screen lock screen keyboard quick panel and messages now interesting note if you are going to edit this messages option it only relates to samsung messages so if you want to see these changes you actually have to download the samsung messages application and make it your default now if you notice we didn't swipe through all the pages and that's because some of these pages they can't be edited individually more on that in a moment so since we've already edited the home screen and the lock screen we're going to focus on the keyboard now this is where we dive deeper into keyboard customization now you can see within the keyboard page we're going to have these red dotted circles with a dot next to them and that indicates specifically where you can make customizations on the keyboard itself so for example our keyboard background is going to be black now i want to make that more of a purple color so i'm going to tap on the dotted circle with the dot that specifically points to the background color of the keyboard which happens to be this one over here so we're going to select a purple color here and then again we have a saturation slider that'll make the color more gray or more vibrant and then we have a transparency option so that will make the color more transparent or more vibrant as well and I'm going to tap OK and you'll see how that changes the keyboard background color we can also change the colors of the letters and the text on the keyboard now it's currently white but we could change it to a different color by again selecting the circle that corresponds to that customization which is that one there and again it's white right now but we could choose a color like black now you can see that that's hard to see so I prefer to stay with the white but that is an option if you are interested then we have the keyboard key customization for example we could change it to white or we could change it to red or whatever color you prefer ideally you want to select a color that's going to kind of contrast with the background color of the keyboard so you can simply play around here until you find a setup that works for you that looks really nice and contrast beautifully here and just keep working around just do a little bit at a time that way you don't get overwhelmed and as changes are made your setup may start to look a bit complex but again don't worry here don't get overwhelmed do one thing at a time and then you can change things back fairly easily versus changing everything all at once really fast and then wondering where to start from and also if there is an option that you did customize that you don't like for example let's say this one here it's now black if I don't like it and I want to return to the default simply tap the X on that circle there and it returns the option back to the default so let's swipe to the next page which is going to be the quick panel definitely want to do some customization here so I'm going to run through a little bit quicker now that we have an idea of what's going on so we have this area here kind of looks like our notification and I'm going to tap on that definitely want to make that purple and we could customize the text color but I'm going to leave that white we have the icon color which I could change here uh, maybe we'll go with a lighter purple or a darker purple actually or we could stick with white I actually like the white there and then we have interesting enough the background of the quick panel now I'm going to start with the blur level here blur level is high and that means that you can still see your wallpaper but it's blurred out to the maximum you can make that wallpaper more visible by lowering the blur level but I'm going to turn it all the way up now interesting enough you can change the background color of the quick panel but if you do so it's going to remove the blur and 
the ability to see the wallpaper itself that would be behind the quick panel. So just something to keep in mind. As you can see, if I change it here, we can no longer see our wallpaper and adjusting the blur level doesn't really do anything. Now again, if you're unhappy with that choice, simply tap on the X on the circle. It basically is an undo button and then you can see your wallpaper and adjust the blur level again. So we're going to run through really quick here, just make some quick changes, not think too much about this. Just see what we get. And if you are happy with that, we could then swipe to the next page. So here we are with the messages page. And again, you have to use Samsung messages for this customization to be available. It won't be seen in other messaging apps such as Google messages or WhatsApp. So we're going to make some quick changes here as well. Just run through here again, one at a time. Just see what we're going to make happen here. Now you can see that we have this green here. I don't really like that. So I'm going to change it to white. That looks a little bit better. And uh, we'll just kind of review it here. I think I want to make this text here a different color so it's easier to see. And if you were happy with that, you could stick with that. Now, once again, we can't swipe to the remaining pages, but they can be edited. Now, when I say edited, they can't be edited individually. It's more so as a batch. Now, this one's a bit tricky because it's not obvious and I actually got stuck here myself. So if we take a look at, for example, this page, again, we can't individually select it, but it has this green text here that I don't really like. And you would think that you could just change it by tapping on any of the colors here to do so. But what you're actually looking for if you're on this page is you want to tap on the main color here and that takes you back. And then you want to look for that pencil icon and tap on that. And you can do more customization in this menu here. So there's a lot going on here. But for example, again, I don't like the green there. I want that to be a different color. So I'm going to tap on that. That's a highlight color and I'm going to change that to purple. So now it's going to change it to purple there, but I want it to be a brighter purple, something that's easier to see. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. And maybe I don't want red, so you can see that we have error there. Maybe I want that to be a brighter purple as well. So that's going to adjust that too. And we can make more bold changes. So say I don't like that black background color for a lot of these pages here. And I want that to be vibrant. We could change that as well. That might be a little too much. So we'll go back in here, change it to a darker purple. And there you go. We're really starting to vibe here. Just to see what happens, we have this on background color. Saturation is all the way down. So I'm going to turn it all the way up and I'm going to select green just to see what it changes here. So it looks like it's changing the text on some of these pages. Don't really like that. So I'm going to go back to white. That looks a little bit better. Then we have surface. Let's see what happens if we change that to green. So it's kind of good to use a different color just to see how dramatic the change will be. And that gives you an idea of what it's actually doing and then you could change it to a color that you would like. Now that's a little too crazy for me so maybe we'll go darker purple there or maybe we'll even go saturation low and then go with more of a gray. That's an option as well. Then we have on surface you know again we can choose an odd color here just to see what is changing. So again is changing the text and then it kind of gives you an idea of what we could change that text to so that it vibes a bit better. So once you've made it this far, the next step is to actually download your theme so it doesn't get lost. And that's done by tapping on the download icon in the top right hand corner. Then we can give it a name. I'm going to title this purple and then we'll tap OK. 
Now you're not done quite yet. You actually have to apply the theme. So we'll tap on our newly created theme. And then we would look for the option apply and tap on that. And then it would take a moment to make the changes. And then we could take a look at our home screen here. And there we go. We've got a lot of the changes made here. Looks pretty cool. But as for myself, I spent so much time on the Cyberpunk 2 theme. So I'm going to apply that. And you can see it's fairly quick to switch between creative themes here. Also of note, there is more customization in this bottom bar here. But to keep this video on the shorter side, we're going to skip over that for now. But I am working on other tutorials to explain these customizations and more. And just like that, your Samsung Galaxy isn't just a phone, it's a statement. From default to defiant, you've crafted a UI that's uniquely yours. If this helped you unlock your inner designer, drop a like, sub for more tech rituals, and tap that bell so you never miss a vibe upgrade. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, stay custom. Leon checking out. Yeah.